Alright everyone, I'm here to make a video of how to install Lord of the Rings Battle for Earth 1 on your PC on Windows 10. I know I made a Windows 7 um, video, uh, but some people got confused on the option file, how to get to it on a newer OS like Windows 10. So I figured, hey, I'll recap the video. It's been a few years. Um, sorry as I go, this is all trying to remember how to do this because it's been a while. <clears throat> First thing you want to do on my new video link, I'll, I'll actually I'll have these options available for you. <clears throat> basically, you want to right click this and you want to copy the, basically under the description of my new video or my old video. You can do either this one or that one, it doesn't matter, they both work. I just prefer they like to have the more options on there. Um, so that's the first step. Second step, um, once you have the uh, game installed, um, similar either online or if you have the original copy, uh, you need to launch the game first and let it crash. <clears throat> there's a reason for this. Um, basically there's a folder that pops up um, once you crash the game the first time, which I'll show in a sec. So basically, after you got those two steps done, basically you want to get into the folder. And then you want to click on this PC here. And obviously I have multiple hard drives, so which one do you choose is your logo one, if you have the game installed there, which I do. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to that. Well, this is what get, um, makes it different between my old video and this video. To get to the hidden folder, it's a kind of little different. It's not really that hard, but it's like they just changed the layout a little, so it's a little different than Windows 7. So up here you want to click View. And once you do that, there's a word Options right here. You want to click that. And then you want to kick the category, uh, category view again. And then right here it's just going to say show hidden folders or drivers. You want to choose that because that's what we need to get to is a hidden folder. So first you want to get to user, your profile, or whoever the, D, or the admin is. And then you want to go to app data. And then once you go from there, you want to go to roaming. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the reason I say you need to launch the game first and crash. I noticed some people say... They do not see this folder, my Battle for Middle Earth file. <clears throat> and I noticed that it didn't for me either until I launched the game the first time and crashed. Then the folder popped up automatically. So again, if you don't see it, launch the game, let it crash, or get stuck for like a minute and then close it out through the task manager. Once you're all set, go back to this and tell me if the folder is there. It should be in theory. But basically, once you do that, you want to get in the folder. Oh, you guys do not see this. Basically, I forgot to delete this earlier because I had the game basically all set. The folder should be empty. <clears throat> as you see, I'm not fully prepared. I'm just going as I go. And basically, there's no option file as you saw previously there. So basically, you want to go to text document or new. Then you want to go to text document. And there you go. So now we need to open the text document. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is um, a little different weird today. And basically, the thing I told you to copy earlier um, in the description of the video, basically, we're going to paste that onto here. You can either one, doesn't matter, uh, whatever works, but it should work. Once you do that, now the next thing we need to do is get your revolution change, which is up here. Because obviously, I don't have that revolution. I have a 2K monitor, or you have a 1080p monitor. So you need to go right click your desktop and click display settings. I think if you have multi monitors, it should show up. But basically, you want to get your default like main monitor, and mine's a 256 over 1440. So that's what I need to put down. So we're gonna do 25060 over 1440. And again, if you have a 1080p, it's 1920 over 1080p. Um, but once you got that all set, you want to click File. And you want to click save as and then basically we're going to type the word option with the s at the end dot i n i that's basically creating the option file so we want to change this text document to all files and then all i have to do that is once everything's spelled good you got that click save and then we're basically all set you can close that out you can close this as well and then there you go your option file Alrighty, so now you can basically delete this, and basically after that, you can click view, 
click option. So now we're going to basically turn your hidden folders off. So you don't like see them all the time, which can be annoying to some people. And then once you go to this PC, you should see your hidden folders. Should be all good. So now we're basically all set. In theory, you should be able to launch the game again. <clears throat> I know some people still have this issue. Um, what I think in theory is is probably the game file. If you're downloaded online, is probably not a good source. Yeah, yeah. If it still has this issue. After, if not, uh, I think that's the like. This was the only way I figured out that fixed my issue. Um, hopefully OBS catches this um, um, actually playing because my last video, OBS didn't. This was again years back. So I think they generally improved and probably now show the game launching. Um, and yeah, here we go. Click escape. Click escape. Click escape one more time. And then there you go. The game should launch. Obviously you have a little flame display up there. My 1080p should do it. But yeah, that should be it. You should be good to go. And yeah, there you go. Game's all launched. And again, this is on a Windows 10 um, computer. And everything's good. Well, you guys all take care. Have a great day.